just prior, so we'd gone through this transformation program as we started to creep to this deadline of the demerger between the beer and wine businesses. You know, we started to get sort of 360, you know, leadership impact feedback, which frankly, in my mind, was more targeted at the guys, sort of get them ready for what that would be their new roles. But unbeknownst to me, I was about to get a kind of a nice surprise or a not so nice surprise around my feedback where it was able to very quickly put into context kind of some of the reasons why things had not been travelling um, kind of as well as I'd hoped. The way I reacted to it was that you know, classic bit of denial. Um, you know, this is not as bad as it looks. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I'm sure I can persuade my way out of this. Uh, and that was kind of um, a pretty comfortable place to be, you know, because the way that impact uh, revealed itself to me was actually over time. You know, it didn't sort of come as a, a, a lightning bolt. I think there was enough going on at the time that maybe lightning bolts could have been too much. But, you know, over the weeks and months after I got the feedback and I had, you know, ample time to, to sort of reflect on it and let it take hold, you know, then I suddenly, you know, became decided to become very accountable for it. That was a real blessing because it meant that I could sort of unpack what had happened over the last you know, 18 months, two years and really kind of just redirect and think it through and get an understanding of you know, where I'd taken the wrong turn at Albuquerque um, and try to sort of think about, well, am I going to stay on this course of looking into a, at, a, at a corporate career? Do I run back to advertising? If I'm going to stay the course, what will I have to do differently? How do I sort of um, you know, reset the sales so this becomes you know, slightly more entertaining and a, bit more, a little bit more effective? I think the most helpful metaphor um, or the most helpful strategy that I um, you know, really worked on or thought about at the time was you know, the, 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 the movie strategy, you know, the idea of actually you know, stopping, stopping the action sort of sitting outside yourself and kind of look back on and review kind of as it happens. Um, because, you know, what I realised is that, you know, in any kind of discussion, if we started to get into a kind of tricky space, what I said, how I said it, how it landed with them could be the difference between, you know, the person um, either going on to doing great stuff or being confused, disorientated, angry, whatever. So I started to really think very carefully about how I approach sort of pivotal moments. And uh, whilst not rehearsing, being really careful that in the moment, if I sort of felt that that was starting to come unstuck, you know, stop, pivot, change, do whatever to make sure that the impact that I was having was the impact I wanted and taking real accountability, not for what I was saying, but for how they were hearing it. And that was a really, that was a real flip for me. You know, before it was really a case of, um, well, I've told you, you know, if you don't get it, that's your fault to, you know, if you don't get it, this is entirely my fault. So I'm going to turn myself inside out to get you to kind of for, 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 for my impact to be what I want it to be, not what it is. And that was a, a really empowering um, approach for me.